This is Code Combat Level 17, the final Kith Maze, Introduction to JavaScript, um, to Computer Science. It is in JavaScript. I'm doing the JavaScript version of the game. Goals. Your hero must survive, defeat the ogres, navigate the maze, under 10 statements. So that would seem like we're using a loop if they're limiting our statements. It does look like a somewhat long level. And collect the gems. Seems straightforward enough. Ah, yes, it does want us to use a loop. Let's see here. Um, I wonder, use a loop to both move and attack. So it looks like we should place all of our code in this loop. So obviously right away, we're gonna move right and then up. Um, you wanna pay attention to this because if I hit run right now to check my code, and I often do hit run after each few lines, it will appear since I go right and then up and it will go right again, that I wouldn't need to write right here, right? Because it's right, right? Because it's repeating, see? But you will, because that code, this code's gonna need more to it than this. So there's that. And then let's go ahead and we have this enemy here um, without a name. So that's when we make a variable, we're gonna give our enemy a name. Um, guy is my name for him. And then we wanna do hero, find nearest enemy and so this is a variable variable var variable it's like x in math it's now not going to represent a number guy represents whoever our hero sees is closest to him and then let's go ahead and have our hero attack guy we know since these are the ogres they take two hits notice also we don't have to put quotes around variables because we named it just like that all right, and then let's try going down one and two. So what I wonder though, is once we go down two, oops, right there, it looks like a loop is gonna take care of this for us. So let's see, we're gonna move right, then we're gonna move up, then we're gonna move right again. We name our enemy, we attack him twice, which should defeat him, we then drop down, once and twice and then we loop back move right oh hmm do we need to tell it to move up again is that going to put us over 10 let's let's see what this does ah this is successful so then we're going to go ahead and drop down Yep, and then we go up, and then we go back through. Right, up, right, find the closest guy, defeat him, drop down two, move up, right. And right here, this path from here on is the same as the original path that we had. It's repeating each time. We got rid of that guy. So if you can look from here and from here, these two points, it is the same path, right? And then just like starting here, it repeats, which is why our loop is ultimately successful. Um, this is considered under 10 lines because comments don't count. Neither do empty lines, obviously. So, and you might say, well, but this is, uh, um, no, the comments aren't gonna count. So that's exactly uh, 10 lines, perfect. Done. And we are moving on to the next level.